Conflict and persecution continued to push people outside their communities and their countries in 2019, adding to the unprecedented scope of the global refugee crisis. The number of total displaced people is over 70 million. Of that, about 25 million are refugees. And we have seen, of course, with ongoing new uh, flare-ups in Syria, as well as Venezuela, we've seen numbers increasing in some of the population. UNHCR spokesperson Chahagadini Williams says 2019 saw low numbers of refugees returning to their home countries due to continued inhospitable circumstances. In 2019, as in the previous year, the largest numbers of refugees were Syrians, Afghans, South Sudanese, Rohingyas and Somalis. Experts warn that climate change will become a leading cause for population movements. The UNHCR official says natural disasters already have sparked large-scale displacements in countries like South Sudan and Somalia. Not only because people um, are forced to leave because they can't earn a livelihood or farm their lands, but also because those drought-ridden areas, the water becomes a weapon used by military groups to control the population. Meanwhile, human rights groups speak of a crisis of solidarity between refugees and nations that historically have welcomed them. The groups note rising rates of forced returns and repatriations by developed countries. It's a lack of su direct support through um, financial support and resettlement. Um, it's also the example that the, U the European Union, the United States, Australia, uh, that many of the, the rich countries have themselves you know, blocked refugees. U.S. President Donald Trump issued in 2019 executive orders adding new restrictions to those applying for refugee status, stressing a need to put the welfare of Americans first. The European Union and several developed nations have also implemented so-called deterrence policies to curb the number of refugees and asylum seekers at their borders. Such policies, says Frelik, send a clear signal to countries that are on the front line, like Turkey, to push back at their own borders against people seeking shelter and support. Gadini Williams acknowledges the problem. I think there definitely is um, a very difficult climate right now for refugees. Um, we are seeing some of the most um, unwelcoming, harsh rhetoric that we've experienced. At a time when some governments stress a need to take care of their own citizens first, activists like Bill Frelick see a lack of empathy and politicians failing to confront racism, xenophobia and Islamophobia. As a result, he says support for aiding people in dire circumstances has waned. The right to flee, the right to seek asylum, is, is, is essentially the last human right that people have. It's, it's when all else fails, when um, you would be faced with genocide, when uh, you, 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 your life and death hang in the balance. The year ended with a show of solidarity during UNHCR's Global Refugee Forum in mid-December when countries, businesses and international institutions made over 770 pledges of support. While the pledges are not written in stone, UNHCR hopes they will kindle renewed international commitment to aiding refugees in the future. Ardita Dunelari, VOA News, Washington.